Good morning. Welcome to my genie bottle. Welcome to a layout creation. So I want to use a design that's called half and half that I've learned techniques for on a really cool class by, by Chamel over at Chamel.com just called half and half. I'm loving it. I'm not done with it, but I had to pause to try to make a layout with this concept because to my knowledge, I don't think I've ever done it before. Pretty sure not. I, not intentionally, I don't think. So I've got some optional paper pads here I want to run through. I'm not exactly sure which direction I want to go as far as um, colors, but pretty sure gold will go in either direction I try to take. All right, so this is the picture. This is going to be the story. Um, this is my triplet gr granddaughters at their dance recital last Saturday after when the parents were collecting them and it was pandemonium and it was adorable and excitement. Anyway, we gave the girls three batches of roses and in all the chaos, I glanced over and saw Nora doing this and I was like, be still my heart. I need to have pages and pages devoted to this moment in my mind. It was so precious. So look what Nora's doing. She was smelling her roses. That little girl was sucking up the moment and enjoying, enjoying her roses. It's precious. Anyway, so I was like, I'll do the other pictures of the dance recital and a different story. The story is Nora and her roses, even despite all the excitement and being applauded, you all did well and blah, blah, blah. Nora's like, yeah, whatever. I look at these roses. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Half and half design. I think these papers would be cute together. This is from this. My son Matthew and his wife got me this paper pad for my birthday recently. And I think it's pretty, even though it's travel themed. Yes, yes, I know. Um, I like the black and gold and the cream and the elegance. And I might try to do something with these on this paper pad. We shall see, darling. That blue's throwing me. I was thinking red, black, striking, and then there's this blue. So, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what a girl is to do about that extra color back there. Unfortunate, unfortunate thing. Okay, I've had Kane Company paper pad for 30 years, and um, I thought, even though this is like a cherry red, you can mix tones, in my opinion. I can make it work somehow. And there was something that was especially catching my eye. That is gorgeous. This paper is to die for. Oh my goodness, see, here we go. I'm like, nope, you love that paper too much, don't use it. I literally love this too much to use. Look at the bird, orient it straight, Jules. Now you're straight. Bird, flowers, butterflies, flying beauty, gorgeous. I have to bring it this way in order to flip. Okay. Okay, and company. Low okay, and company. Um, so I can make either of those work. I could even use both tones. It's fine. We have all those tones just in those roses in Nora's hand right there. Um, you could do you could go any which away. Pull this out. I had already set aside here a couple from here that I thought would be very good. Not the green, gorgeous, but not the green. This must have been just part of the stack that was falling apart because yeah, this and this and this. These, these were the ones. This is just that paper pad has been run through so many times. It's falling apart. That's why that is back there. But I am, I'm enchanted with this. It has beguiled me utterly. There's a sheen on there also that you probably aren't picking up. Is there a perforation? Can't, can't feel it. Can't see it. Don't know. No. Okay. This is old school stuff. Ooh, scared to do that. I don't want to mess that up. Really? Boy, this is from long ago, huh? I really don't want to risk. How did... What? What? What, uh, craft knife in this situation? I don't know, smaller scissors. Um, how about these? No. I need, I need agile scissors. And this is a thin, thinnish paper, too. Okay. So it falls apart everywhere you don't want it to fall apart, but where you would like it to let go already, it ain't gonna happen. 
So this is an impromptu review of Kane Company. <laughs> I don't think they're around anymore. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I mean, that was a little annoying, but the patterns and papers are gorgeous. Yeah, yes. Okay. Definitely am not going to be forgetting where this came from, huh? So I thought something along the lines of being, oh, get these out here, super neutral. And letting the picture be the drama of color was in my mind as an option also. Um, let's see. I picked these out. I picked these out yesterday. And now I'm like, okay, would it, would it, what were you thinking? This would be, I think I was, I had another neutral to go with this selected. That was a full page. That's why I'm stymied. This was going to be a border. And there was going to be neutral. Yeah, okay. Where is that? Oh, I was going to mix it up probably. Yeah, this was 24 hours ago, people. You can't expect me to, you know, remember all the thoughts I had regarding this here construction that I'm highly unfamiliar with. I think I was thinking as an, you could do neutral. So half and half these papers. Then you could do... I was thinking a little tiny, her border on that one layout was pretty small for her, her map for her pictures. She had two four by sixes and I've just got one five by seven. But I was thinking neutral in the background and then just something like this framing and then accents of red. That's kind of what I was thinking. Also, as I said, this was yesterday morning. Let us return to that. So I was like, okay, their shoes, their dance wear, the neutral, their tights and their footwear match this yellowy tan hue. And that's, I was noticing that in the, in the colors, it really went well, makes the picture pop, do a little matte of that and accent. So that's what I was thinking with this. You could even, you could even pull black from this travel page in here as a tiny, tiny black border that has a little bit of gold tan whatever that is in there and then you could even do that which is quite striking so that's why this I should just do it and take it from there and see, see where where it leads before I even venture through the entire stack of options I'll know let me let me look at what I what I had been thinking yesterday morning 24 hours ago about this here deal Okay. Yes, yes. Got that in my head now. We're good. We think we're good. Okay. This is a potential. And this was something I had from long ago. So even though it's Craftsmith, Matthew got me Craftsmith stuff. That's gorgeous. Um, oh, and applicable. Applicable because flowers, but it's not roses, but who cares? Flowers, black and white, dramatic. Yeah, I don't know. Um, and then what was I going to say? This is netting tool which was a lot of, a lot of tool floating on the stage. Um, that day, so that'd be appropriate, but just trying to think whatever caught my eye. The one I re removed from here is this, because I thought this paper and I cut it even would look good somehow. It looks like showtime somehow, you know, looks like bright lights and it's fan, you know, you, yeah. So I was thinking that somewhere. I'm gonna remove this to that corner. And then this is from, what was in here? Everything in here you can make work. That does not belong in here, but this is a genie bottle pattern if I ever saw one in my life. Um, oh, that's a rose. You know, it's funny when I listen back to my videos, just to make sure I didn't say anything untoward or, you know, I'm like, I marvel at how many times I drop a thought or miss something. Like I'm going through this looking for a certain thing. So therefore the rose isn't standing out, which may be perfect for my layout, but it's not catching my attention right now because I'm focused on something else. Later, I'll watch it on the video and go, you fool, you just went past a rose. I'm trying to talk to you and do, it's hard difficult stuff okay that's neat but I don't I don't think I've already got an op, an option that is more than viable 
going. So why carry on? This is from Matthew and his wife. This is where I got that. So I don't need to continue through here. Um, how perfect is that? It's literally a theater and it's got that blue hue of the stage. See, see, see. Interesting. But yeah, it's got theater seats and everything. Oh, you're done. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, no. Look at that theater. Okay. If you put it here, you can't really tell what it is much, right? Unless you were to really get a feeling of the seats because this, this doesn't look very stagey. Meaning, I don't know. This looks very audience-y, but this doesn't look all, all that stagey. It could just look like a pattern on the page, right? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. Oh, no. I could use this for their other dance recital pictures. I'm going to carry on where there was potential and I was seeing how that would work. Why keep trying to figure something out when you know something that would work well? So, that was potential and also something like this would work, this composition, half and half of those two, and then using the red, as I had said, and even this, as I had said, probably this to make it stand out against that, but anyway, something like this, I could do the half and half, like that even. Hmm. So you'd see half this, half this, and this box, and then gold letters. Yeah, or I kind of think I like the more tone-on-tone -tone look. I think it's more striking. I think it makes the picture stand out more. That's what I think. Half this, half that, and then this. And where's that one? And this. Something like this on here in a box with that very subtle background. Um, and then the gold letters. I really love this paper though with this. What if I did that? Half that paper, half this paper. I don't know, I'm kind of liking that now. Whichever I choose, trust me, I wish I had chosen differently tomorrow. This looks upside down. Girl, okay. So, how long have I been? How long? Oh, I've only been here a brief, just a brief amount of time. This is travel. This is just elegant wallpaper. I don't know, palace wallpaper. Travel, I don't know. But it's just a design. I don't have to go, now, what are these images? Well, wait, wait, now, now. That doesn't, how's that pull into a dance recital? I don't have to do that. Except now I'm doing that. It's in my head now. You're done now. <laughs> I went there. Now that's where I'll stay. All right. Um, Lord, help the girl. Somebody help the girl. That's so cute. The whole thing's cute. Um, there was something on here that I thought mm, I was really liking the goldish hue I was liking that too I, I like the goldish hue of some papers that are not here this although under this light this is what I was looking at I was looking at all this outside the genie bottle yesterday and yesterday this paper looked better with this picture in my bedroom but today, under the genie bottle lights, this one is more of a match. How oh, very interesting. I'm just trying to say I'm eliminating potential options that are cluttering my creativity process. Yeah. Okay. So, so no to the gold tones, hundred percent. Um. Are we going to try to supplement? Where's that polka dot thing? Where are you? 
the polka dot papers. Ah. Was it in this one? Or was it in Matthew's? Oh, <gasps> yeah, yes. I See, here's what happened. Yesterday, I was like, I'm going to scrap this. And then I gathered supplies that I thought were great. And I had options upon options, right? And this was one of them. Well, then I set them all up in a stack in, a, in my mind as a potential, you know, option. And then that was yesterday morning. And now as I'm reviewing, I'm like, oh, remember that? So I couldn't pull out absolutely everything. There's that polka dot. Hello. I couldn't pull out everything in the world as an option. I've got 50 billion things in here. So, but I pulled out enough to clutter my brain and lock me up for a substantial part of this morning. Good grief already. Um, that's a lot of pattern. I mean, this is very bold. It's very bold. Um, and this is very busy. So I was gonna, I was looking for polka dots to see about a half and half of that with this. But I don't like it in tone or color or design. Those are not double sided. Okay. The, I don't feel like these are good matches, maybe in weight, composition, color, not sure. It's, it's quantity of pattern on the page. I mean, I. I'm trying to force something that is not meant to be. How about that? No, <laughs> even, even I know that's not right, y'all. <laughs> even I know that. What about this with this as a half and half and then this and then this as a border? I wonder, as just, I ought to just map the dang thing in, in the red I like that pulls out the lighter colors of the roses. Why don't I just matte that? Unless, one more thing before I cut this, unless I wanna use this as a half and half segment instead of a matte for a picture, but I don't think I do. Let's just say I did a half and half with, and you guys are like, what's half and half? I'm gonna do, these are 12 by 12 pages. I'm gonna do six by 12, twice in different patterns, put them side by side, and then I'm gonna carry on accordingly and create my design. I like that too. Oh, I shouldn't have thrown in another option of the red as the half and half. What are you doing? Stop, stop it. Is there six inches on that? I'd say there's six inches. Yeah, good, okay. How about that? As a half a, this is more orangey rusty. This is more candy apple, isn't it? I mean, this is orangey peachy too, but this is more insistently orangey peachy. Never mind. I know what I, I know what I mean. I do kind of. <laughs> so, bringing back this drama, drama in a drama in a pack. You go back over here. Oh, that is that is stunning. Can I go there right now? Looks like looks like Washington on the coast or where I stayed once in Washington. The state. Yeah, it was looked just like that. It was gorgeous. I did then. There's red in here. Oh, wolf eyes. Ha! Oh, a song just for you. Oh, I need to do something with that. Don't forget that's there, okay? Okay. Don't forget. Yes, you will. <laughs> There's some candy apple-ish. More, I don't know. Let me just. And maybe that's still got um, orange tones in it. This is my, oh, that's very luxurious appearing, darling. Is this? These are stars. I wasn't even paying attention. I just knew there was some random design. That's funny. That's really funny. <laughs> I like the yeah, velvety swoopy sort of, yeah, I like this. Whatever it's trying to uh, depict, it did a good job. Not that I can define it, describe it, name it, but they did a good job with their attempt to depict whatever it was they're trying to 
put across. Oh, come on. Don't rip. Don't rip. Don't rip. Good, good, good. And here's another thing. There are endless options. I'd love them all. The ones that work. There are endless options that would work. And I'd love them all, probably. So just go one of the ways already. I mean, honestly. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have to go down and, and um, to uh, recognize or go through and um, name all the potential things. That's not my mission. I'm trying to create a beautiful page. Well, I've already had 3,000 options that would, would pull that off for me. Yet here I am still messing around and not taping anything because I'm like, oh, but you could do this. That's so dramatic. But here's my hesitation for this. It just seems so obvious. Not the stars, just the black and gold look and the red velvety look. Um, it just seems so obvious that that goes with this that I'd like to do something um, outside the box, more or less. Something avant-garde. No, I'm just kidding. I don't even... I don't even know. Probably, probably, to me, this seemed more unique and not obvious. And I also wanted to pull in these colors with a creamy gold. But we have stamps. Like, travel stamps. So I'm not... I'm not sure anymore. It didn't hang me up yesterday, but it most certainly is creating havoc for me today, you know? I'll try one more thing before I do that. All right. Where are you? Where are you? Where did I put One Wonders? My rose is up right behind you, girl. All right. One more. I'm not going to search for more. I'm going to peruse what I already identified as potential. Okay? That's all I'm doing right now. I'm going to just go back and review things that I thought could maybe be combinations that would work and be pleasing in some regard. I think the travel stamp identification has ruined that for me. And I could only use it as a mat now for this layout. I'm pretty sure. It does absolutely nothing with the border on there directly. Maybe something in that regard against something like this. Um, yeah, it could be a mat for something like that. But what would the other composition, what would the other side of this thing be? go at all. I think that does. Just because it could go, is that the most pleasing? I don't know. You gotta start somewhere. Let's just do this. You can't go wrong with this. You cannot. Okay. And I can print the picture again and again. And again, and create different layouts if I don't like whatever I come up with here. And now, and carry on, do it again. I guess I'm satisfied with the distance of the, with the um, quantity of border. Don't want to trim it. If I do, it's an endless road of narrower and narrower. I never get it, never get it straight. I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> I was wanting a real small hint of this you don't have to say real small hint you could just say a hint you know how about that <laughs> you don't have to define the word you're using to define something why is that because this hello I'm not, I'm not used to working with papers from back in the day I'm not used to it Oh, not enough. There is a, I could, I could ink the edges. No, no, you're not inking edges. Oh, this yet. Okay. Why that's sticking. 
Oh, I bet I know why. I bet there's a bit of adhesive stuck on this blade because I have, I have been known to cut through a matted picture to trim the already matted picture further and gotten, so there's adhesive between the mat and the picture. I think that's caught and is on the blade. Okay, let's just go from this point at least, <laughs> have some direction in some regard. I did not. Let me try to do this like Gina K does. Let's see if I managed to. No, nope, not really. Look at that. That is so lopsided. And so this thing is very forgiving. This adhesive will let you do it, gives you do overs. And I am finding I'm not happy necessarily with this border. It's too wide in some spots. It's uneven, is all I'm trying to say. Um, okay, there's a little more at the top than the bottom. Now, I felt like I cut too much of this to not even show. So I hopefully have allowed stand up. I can't do that unless I'm standing looking down. I cannot. By trimming more, I have given myself more of that beautiful red paper to show. Okay. All right. This is perforated. What the bang? Grazie. All right. I don't want that serrated edge, so I'm going to trim that, aren't I? Yes, I am. Because I really, it really shows. It's pretty spaced out and bold. It's not a fine edge. It is very serrated. That's so cute. When I went serrated, it reminds me of when my granddaughter Grace is little and learning to talk and learning, you know, learning. It's very cute. She, um, you say, what is that? What is this? Cow, horse, blah, blah, blah. And what does a cow say? Move, that type thing. Anyway, she said, what's the snake say, Grace? She'd say with a big smile. What's the snake say, Grace? <laughs> so cute. Take your glasses off. Okay. Um, You know what would make that work? Nothing. No. You know what could make that work? A border on here that pulls in this color. I don't even know what this is. Navy, charcoal, gray. I don't know. This, this, a little strip of paper that pulls this color with the ivory and maybe some gold pattern right there. Maybe even pull in the red and maybe even some of that blue right here. That's what I need. But I don't have anything. So let me see. Pull this over here. I had set this aside. Um, as we know, that would do nothing, obviously. This. Thinking, well, if you got to have the blue, do the blue, you know, type thing. But, I don't know. I don't like it. don't like it. Let's see. I cut this with a punch once upon a time. And I have this, which may be something lovely here. And I have something over there from a layout I had to take apart. And I, because it was an X on it. And <laughs> I want to save the, the embellishment. So I tore this off the bottom of the page and then pitched it, yo. Anyway, I was thinking it could look lovely there. This gorgeous ornate ribbon with the, uh, that, huh. I think I have a couple of those. I need more in my life. I'm parched, not parched. Yes, parched. Mm-hmm. And then I even had this, not that it's a daisy. Had that since 1902. Also, looking around my desk as I'm kind of, okay, investigating options. All right. How long have I been going on? Put your glasses on your face, 29 minutes. Okay. What do you think if I did a this? And then these on top, I think I'm wasting border. Or if I brought it more. 
I'm gonna want some fancy black, but I want that velvet too. Where's the velvet? I like the velvet. I like this. Oh, you know. It's so funny because oh, that was so gorgeous from King Company. Oh, I just want to put that in a 12 by 12 frame and stick it on the genie bottle wall. Bottle wall is fun to say. Genie bottle wall. <laughs> to say <laughs> okay so anyway i apparently am not able without any any strength to scrapbook with that gorgeous paper and i have no ability to cover that beautiful paper with any pictures writing or titles so carry on girl <laughs> oh lord anyway so if i cut if i use this as a, a border you will not see the velvety swoopy thing but I like the drama of the darker red because there are tones of red, lots of tones of red going on in this picture. In the folds of their little ruffles, it's a deep red. And where the light hits it on where it rolls out the ruffle, it's light, light red. There's even almost like blonde on Charlotte's hair. And then Grace and North hair. And they're blind, blind, blind spots, blondish spots with the lights hitting it. Um... So I like the tones. I think I, I made my case. You can go on now. You're good. <laughs> Move along, girl. Case closed. Unstick yourself. Go on with your... Go on. I, I could use this as a mat and then use this part of the page with the swoopy velvety satiny thing as a half and half for even the roses. <gasps> the roses and the red. <gasps> oh, this is how I, this is my true process. This is how I do it. I ponder, marinate, takes me 12 years to get anything accomplished because I'm like, well, I'm buried in options. Don't even ask me to go on a cereal aisle in the grocery store. You know what I do? Well, first of all, I don't eat cereal. <laughs> I really like this. I don't eat cereal. If I can help it because I love it so much and it's car carbs, carbs. No, I don't need cereal. That's gorgeous too, but I'll eat it because it's delicious. Anyway, if you take me on a cereal aisle, see, I'm straying from the half and half look in my brain. I've never done half and half. This is going to be hard for me. <laughs> oh, a cereal aisle. I'm not going to want to do half and half. It's going to shut me down. I'm going to want to do a third, you know, and two thirds. She said you can go either way. You can flip it this way, flip it that way. And her work is phenomenal. I love everything she made. And I was, I'm, I'm excited to try, but I, I'm stuck in old ways and I want to take it to a third or even a quarter and do this and a title. And even actually back to this distraction, Matt it in a deeper hue of that red on their outfits and put it on there with this stunning what are you gonna do what are you gonna do I really love how this gold pattern of this strip mimics the sort of fleur de lis or fleur de, fleur de lis whatever I don't speak French but um these French things you know it mimics that sort of pattern. I really like that. And I think it's striking, quite striking, to put it, mat it in another layer of the deeper red and do it like this. But what is maybe luring me is the fact that I'm over at the third spot of the 12-inch page instead of the half and half spot. I don't, I don't think I've ever done half and half. Maybe it's not possible for me. I think, I think I'm not able to do it. Yeah, I don't think I can do it because my brain wants to do the third, you know. <sighs> can I do half and half? I don't think I can. Oh, I should just cut it and do it. I'm not wanting to go half and half. Maybe I can't do half and half. Maybe I'll just enjoy watching her do half and halves. Maybe I could do half and half and bring her down over here. I, dude, I don't, I don't think I can do a half and half composition. <laughs> I really, really don't. 
Okay, I'm safe to use this section. So I'm going to cut, aren't I? Is that the, that's, wait, what section shows the most folds? This area. So I should go here because this is without folds. Or if you use this piece, do you want it oriented like this? Where you want that section? Or let me figure this out so I can be safe. Or this nine. Or even it feels drapey, so it needs to go this way. Um, if it did happen, I think I think I want to cut this area. Okay. Yeah. Now, now, now you get some insight into what some of us out here <laughs> labor through in order to make one page is anyone getting an understanding and apprehending how difficult this process is for some of us yeah i think you get it don't let me forget to ink those edges thanks please and thank you yeah my mind is wanting to go right to the third line of that page and put put my paper there hey you know what that's straying from my norm too so i could do baby steps into the half and half world i could do a third of two pages and then, you know, get to that, get to that mark eventually. Maybe next by next week, after working my way to the half and half mark, I could maybe by next week I could I could cut six inch by twelve inch on two different patterns. Maybe I could do that by the end of next week. <laughs> Baby steps. This is not the way I normally scrapbook. It's a stretch in my brain. Not that that's an uncommon thing or a typical thing. Good job, Jules. Good job. Did pretty pretty good job on that cutting. I should just put this on here because I know I'm gonna want it. So I'm gonna go to a different part because I'm sure I'm racking up lots of minutes on this here um, video. So I'm gonna go into another part now. I'll see you in the next part.